Hello, everybody, and welcome to Brawl Talk. My name is Ryan. I'm the community manager for Brawl Stars, and I am so excited to tell you about everything that's coming in the next update. Today, we have with us Lex. How's it going? And Coach Corey. How are you guys doing? What's up, YouTube? It's Coach Corey. Brawl Talk is out and the update is near. So in today's video, I'm gonna go over everything that Lex, Ryan, and I talked about in the Brawl Talk video. So guys, if you haven't seen the video, do make sure to go check it out though. I'll put a link in the description and in the comments below. I definitely recommend watching it. It's gonna be a little more in depth in that video, but I'm gonna try and explain and summarize everything that we talked about over there and maybe give a little more detail on some other things as well. So, I just want to preface this whole video by saying, if you were looking for another reason to keep playing Brawl Stars, that's not really what this update is. This update is for the new players. It's not for the beta players. There's really not much to keep the beta players going, besides the fact that the game is still a great game. So, as far as what's in the update, well, let's start off with what's not in the update. There's no new brawlers, there's no new events, there's no global release, there's no spectating, there's no replays, there's no new skins, as far as I know. So, there's a lot of what's not in the update. There were some big changes, though, and I do have some reason for hope, and I'm gonna go over when I hope global release is going to be later on in the video and what might be coming in the future as well. But as far as the big changes in this update, probably one of the biggest ones is that the game is now going to be played in landscape mode. So we did used to play it in, in uh, portrait and now it's going to be played in landscape like this. So that's definitely a really big change and that's going to impact us in a lot of ways. The Brawl Stars dev team felt that people really enjoy playing the game as joystick players and the best way to play joystick is in landscape. Now another change that goes along with the game being played in landscape mode is that now how you play the game is changed. Now you move with joystick and you shoot with joystick. So there's two joysticks. So it's honestly a combination of moving with joystick and then also it's sort of like how you shot as a tapping player where you dragged to shoot it's a bit like that joystick is pretty similar to that another thing that changed with the controls is they added a bit of an auto attack feature so any brawler that's going to be under the auto attack is highlighted in red so if you just want a quick tap and quick shoot it's going to go towards whatever that auto attack brawler is it's going to whatever one your auto attack is on it's going to go towards that now this feature sounds kind of cool. It's not the most accurate. My experience was if they're just moving straight forwards and backwards, then it's accurate. It's fine. Um, but if they move side to side at all, it's pretty much not very accurate. And otherwise, it's really not that useful. If you're like really, really close, it can be good. If you're using, for instance, like Crow's Super, that's a good use for it. Um, but a lot of times there's not, like you're gonna have to figure out when you want to use it and when you don't it's just going to be very situational but a lot of times you're not going to probably use the auto attack feature now as far as my opinion on these two changes i really like the joy the landscape view i actually think it looks really great i do think the game is a lot smoother that way i always thought it was pretty annoying when someone quote unquote snuck up on you even though they like weren't in the grass they were really just like off the screen i always thought that was pretty annoying so now you're not going to have that sneaking up on you you really can see the whole map i think it's going to help with the strategy aspect of the game the meta is going to be really different so that's going to be interesting to see as well as far as what brawlers are useful and then as far as how the joysticks are honestly when i first played this about two to three weeks ago I really didn't like it. So we're gonna have to see how much better it got in between that time. I honestly thought it was too hard to be accurate with the joystick as far as shooting. Moving was fine. Obviously it was the same way moving. It's just shooting. I really didn't like, I didn't think you could be nearly as accurate, but of course I didn't play it a ton and I really didn't play versus people that much. I mostly played versus bots. I think we should maybe hold out our judgment on the joystick movement and shooting. Until so we've played the game for a week or two at least, and maybe then we'll have a much better idea of really how well done it is, and if this is really the direction the team should be going for the future. But they did think they did this mostly for new players. Hopefully new players will enjoy this a lot more. Obviously, 
we've played a certain way for the past six to eight months. So we're really used to that. It's going to be hard for us to change. Next big feature. And this one is a bit confusing. So I'm going to take a little bit of time explaining exactly how this works. But there's a new upgrade system again. So how brawlers are upgraded is definitely really different again. But if you're looking for a comparison, it's pretty similar to Clash Royale. So like in Clash Royale, you get a card and then you open a chest or whatever and you get a certain amount of that card to upgrade it. Now Brawl Stars, you have a brawler and once you open a box, you get this thing called power points from the box and you get power points for one specific brawler and those power points can be used to upgrade the brawler. So it's like that. And similar to in Clash Royale, how maybe you got so many of a certain card, you have to use gold to upgrade the card. So it's the same thing in Brawl Stars. You have so many power points and then you use gold to upgrade that brawler to the next level. So it's, again, another confusing thing. Now it's levels. So brawlers are going to be from level 1 to 10. And each level increases the stats by 5% all around. Health, attack, and uh, special is all going to be increased by 5% each level. So now, additionally, the max stat increase goes from 35% to 40%. But if you're wondering about conversion, if you were a max brawler before the update, you're still going to be a max brawler after the update. And if you're wondering what level your brawler is going to be if it's not max, well, I think they're still working on the conversion ratio for all of that stuff as far as whatever power level you are, you're going to be a certain level brawler. So as soon as I get that info, I'm going to get you guys exactly what level your brawler is going to be. I'll put a video up on that. I'll put it in the comments, whatever. I'll, I'll put it on Twitter. Now there's some other term changes as well. So like in Clash Royale, use gold to upgrade your cards. In Brawl Stars, you're now going to use your gold to upgrade the brawlers you need the power points for that brawler as well but then you can use gold to upgrade any of your brawlers if they have enough power points now don't be con too worried your whatever gold you have that's used to open boxes is gonna stay there that's gonna be the same that's actually just getting a new name i'm not entirely sure what the name is yet but once i get that again i'll tell you guys so that's staying the same there's just a new currency, a new item in the game called gold, and that is going to be used to upgrade your brawlers. I know it's kind of confusing, but once you see it, once you play it, it's going to be pretty obvious. It's going to make sense. Okay, the last big change is that they redid the shop. So the shop is now also like Clash Royale's. So in this shop, you should be able to buy specific power points for a brawler. So while you may not be able to upgrade a brawler as specifically as you could before the update where you could just put as many tokens as you want into whatever brawler you want, you can't really do that post update, but you can still target brawlers a little bit through the shop. So you can buy power points for a specific brawler in the shop. You can also buy the star power for a specific brawler in the shop. And you can actually do this before it's at level 10. So you can do this at level nine. You can buy the star power in the shop for that brawler so that's kind of cool and it's another small feature in the game all right so that's all of the new features that's coming in the update really there's some other small things which i'll go over in a little bit but you're probably wondering what why is there not much else like why is this all there is in the update i know it's not that exciting it's not that much well because they changed the game to landscape that took a ton of work they had to redo a lot they had to redo the ui again they had to redo some of the game logic in the game. In general, there was a lot of new stuff they had to do with making the game landscape. Another thing they did is they redid all of the art models for all of the brawlers. You may not really notice this that well in the update, but what this is going to allow them to do is in future updates, now they're going to be able to make new brawlers much easier and much faster, and they're also going to be able to make more skins even faster. So. This kind of sucked for us short term, but long term it's going to be great because we're going to be able to have more brawlers in future updates and more skins in future updates. So that's going to be really cool. Now there's also some small additions to the game as well. For instance, there's some new battle animations. One of them was shown in the game film that I showed in my video and that's in the Brawl Talk. And that's the new kill uh, animation feature. So whenever someone 
dies in game it shows who killed that person has the name of the person who killed them and the whatever brawler it was and it shows the brawler and the name of the person who died as well so that's pretty cool actually and that's kind of useful as well so now you can really see okay which of my teammates killed someone and which of my teammates died just by looking at the brawler and that's also important as far as map positioning where people are on the map another cool battle animation they have is at the start of games it shows each brawler on each side of the map so it shows the three brawlers on your team and the three brawlers on their team so that's a pretty cool animation as well and that's definitely useful at the start of games there's a new smash and grab map um as far as other new features though that's pretty much it that's gonna be the most of it so yeah not much else in the update but there is some stuff to look forward to so as far as when they think global release is going to be, well, it sounded like it really depends on how this update goes. If it's received really positively, which we're not sure about, but the main thing is if new players receive it really positively, then it's looking great and there's probably a really good chance that the next update is global. But if it's not received very well, if it doesn't seem like new players like it, if it seems like there's still a good amount of work they have to do to make new players really like the game, it's really easy to use, not confusing, then it might be even another update before Global, like another two updates before Global happens. So it's going to depend on how new players receive this game as far as when Global is, but otherwise they're feeling good about the game. Another thing they said is replays and spectating, they worked on a lot and they're pretty close to those being done. So it's probably going to be next update that replays and spectating is in the game. So it kind of sucks it's not in this update, but at least we know it's a really good chance in the next update. Alright, and as far as the Brawl Stars dev team's future priorities for the game, this is a question I asked them and they said their main priorities were spectating, replays, improving the ladder, um, tournaments, in-game tournaments, esports, and social features as well as some other stuff, but those are the main things. Wait, esports? So Ryan, you mentioned tournaments and esports. It sounds really cool. So what is Brawl Stars' idea for esports? I mean, I see huge potential in esports for Brawl Stars. Yes, me too, Ryan, me too. So that's really exciting to me. They said they're really excited for esports, but they want to see how the community approaches it and then they'll dip their feet in and help out and make esports more of a thing for Brawl Stars. So a lot of that, of what they said for their priorities really excites me. Obviously esports as I went right into that. I really love esports and I would love to see Brawl Stars as an esport. I do think as far as mobile games goes, I feel like Brawl Stars has the most potential out of any mobile game for esports. I really love what they've done with the game. I think it's going to be really good and I think people are really going to like it and it has a lot of great features and other stuff for esports but another thing that's really cool is they want to have in-game tournaments that sounds awesome to me i would really love to see some in-game tournaments that would be a great feature for the game another thing to do in the game that's not ladder that would be really cool another way to compete against your friends obviously social features would be good improving ladder i'm glad they're keeping their eye on that i know a lot of top players have complained about that and even just non-top players about how it doesn't feel very rewarding to climb up the ladder so i'm glad they want to improve that as well another thing they said is they mentioned quests and achievements so they said they do want to do quests but they don't want to do achievements and the reason for that is they feel like achievements end up being pretty grindy and they don't really want to have a grindy aspect to the game like that but they do want to have quests something like that changes weekly, like get 10 kills on this map with Shelly or whatever, something like that. Get 10 kills using Shelly's super or I don't know, but they want to have a quest that changes weekly or meet multiple quests that change maybe every couple days, every day, every week, whatever, something like that. So they do have a lot of stuff they're looking forward to as far as adding in the game. And it is nice to see what they're keeping their eye on as far as where they want to develop the game and what direction they're going. That's always really cool to see. All right, guys. Well, that is it for today's video. Unfortunately, it came with a lot of bad news, I felt like. I wish I could have had better news for you guys as far as what was in the coming update. But it is what it is, and I'm glad they're focused on the future, and they're not going to stop improving the game, and they're not afraid to try big things. Now, guys, let me know in the comments what you think of the Brawl Talk and what you think of what's coming in the update. 
that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed, and I will catch you later.